the airport now? Uh, what was this? Burke. 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 Burke Airport. Yeah. Right. Now, we have to find out which way the wind's blowing. Okay. Um, who's, who's, who said that? Egg. Uh, what well, great flight. Um, I'll go to there. Set his departure. Right, set his departure. Now I have to go to Greenland. Go to Greenland. Little island. Oh, come on. Where's that little island gone? lost it straight across i know it's straight across oh there it is i found it set as arrival what's going on here now i've got all my problems sorted at last four days of hell mm -hmm. four days of hell right i need to go to my channel now um to see the chat your channel live I've got, I've got somebody I can't see that what somebody, Sorry, made a, somebody said add me and I can't see his comments I don't believe it what my thing's crashed somebody said add me and I can't see really comments. yeah Freaking Nora. Really? Oh, I have to reload it. Really? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, I've got I've got Xbox on. You need don't need that. Oh, I'll redo it. Um. Oh my God. It's working all right. I don't know why it crashed. I don't know why it crashed. Oh. But we'll get out the reloaded. Um, oh, come on. <sighs> honestly, I cannot see that. Honestly. I got somebody said add me and I, c I can't add them because it doesn't show up. All right. So we're reloading Flight Sim because it crashed again. It should pop up in a minute. And hopefully we can get on our way. Because I don't have a flight plan. That's the thing. I put a flight plan in. Mm. I'll do the flight plans. You do the weather. And you do the... Um, um temperatures and all the technical stuff i'll put the flight plans and you do everything else you can tell me what the weather is at airports and stuff and you'll be lucky <laughs> well you are the expert uh what, what 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 what's going on here prepare the cabin please wait what Don't you start with me? Yeah. Oh, I wish Jeffrey would come in. I've got the window open and there's bloody cold draft blowing in here. He's gone out to see his girlfriend. Mm. Oh, come on, I can't. <clears throat> uh, I've now got. Got to download something. If I didn't like Flight Simulator this much, I wouldn't have bothered, honestly. I know. It's just because Flight Sim is so wonderful, I am persevering. Yeah, let's see. And get the real aircraft, they are. They run on, well, the modern aircraft run off uh, a form of Microsoft. Do they? Yeah, the new modern ones with the digital mm. displays. Although I think the first ones to give up on them. Mm. 
a bit like us, really. Yeah. My aircraft's trying to kill me. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is my last attempt for tonight. If it does it again, that's it. I'm going to go and... So far. Go for a walk. Go for a walk? Go for a walk in the dark. Mm -mm. Chill out. So Chill out. Go for a walk. Go for a walk in the dark. Yeah. It's loading, it's loading okay, like it normally would, so there's nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah. Will you bugle off? Is that chill? No. Why, well, have you got a woman in your house telling to <laughs> bug her off? I'm, uh, I'm, tell, I'm telling the bloody computer to bugger off. Oh, your computer. It says in, install uh, direct, no, something X, I don't know what X seems. Anyway, I downloaded net something and then it was already installed. It said, do you want to repair it? I went, yeah, okay, repair it. And then it came up and says, are you sure you want to install it? I'm oh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for you. Uh. Please vote this time, please, please, please. I can't go another five days with this not working. Because I drove all the way over to Newcastle to New Biggin on the Sea for Tony to uh, sort it out. Come back, I'm really hopeful. And I know it's Windows 10 that's causing this problem. It's nothing to do with Flight Simulator. See, it's just told me to install it again because it won't, and I just have. Mm. Install what? Net 5. What's that? It allows programs to communicate with Flight Sim. Uh, maybe you can explain that a bit more so people know what you're talking about. It's just a. Uh, if you have a, a program like, say, Sky um, Park or SkyPad, which I use for runway information, it needs something that it can communicate with. And uh, Microsoft Net Runtime mm -hmm. is what you need to install. All right. And and at the minute, mine says repair successful. Okay. Fine. Now let me run this one. It's repaired. No, it says it's not. <laughs> it wants me to restart the computer. Well, I can bugger off. Mm. Exactly. Right, I'm going back to Iceland. Let's try again and see what happens. That'll do. Right, uh, back to uh, the airport. Hopefully, oh, this fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Burke, we're going to Burke. We're going to a Burke. Right, choose a. I'm at ramp number 48, set as departure. And we're going to zoom out. Go to Greenland. Do this very carefully so it doesn't crash again. Go to that little island there. Zoom in carefully. Set as arrival. Then press go fly. Now this is this is a crucial bit. Will it crash or will it stay there? Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I can't deal with this crashing business any longer. If we can do it. Please, please load, please. Back in, actually. So far it's working.
come on you can do it this crashes I'm going outside and smoke 20 cigarettes mm, sound like me mother <laughs> I'm at the airport, ready to fly. Just please, please, please work. I'm in a plane. Hi. I'm in a plane. I'm in a plane. Right. I think it's going to work. Right. Don't count the chickens to the things have hatched. <laughs> mm. Right, I think it's going to work, Tony, this time. Okay. Ice uh, Greenland, here we come. Oh, I didn't f put my fuel on. That would... I always forget sometimes. I didn't put my fuel on. Have I gone live? I don't think you I, are. I don't think I've gone you live. Are. You, you, you're alive, yes, I'm watching you. All oh, right. You just you just put your seat belts on. I've forgotten. I've forgotten. Why is my other screen not working? Probably because you haven't switched it on. I'm just going to use the. Um... Oh, that's because I haven't started my engine up. I am going to. Have you found out oh. which way the wind is blowing, or we just rely on the wind sock? Do the wind sock at the minute. I haven't even switched my computer uh, computers on yet. It's working. Uh. It's working. I can't believe it's working. Lights are on. Uh, I need to. Uh, I've forgotten anything. A bit of trim. We haven't got any information on the weather at the minute. I'm looking for a windsock. I need to go outside. I need to know which way the there's wind's one, there's, one, there's loads here on the runway. And it's running uh, north. Can't see a windsock. There's hundreds. One behind you, probably. Trust me, it's running north. Yes, there is. I can't see one. Oh, there's one over there. I can see it. Right, Put your specs on. Just zoom in on it so I can see. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we have a blind cat on the board. So I need to take off from this runway here, that one there, where my arrow is. I need to take off from that one, I think. I don't want to get this wrong, I don't want any crashes. No, that's a side wind if I take off from that one. I need to take off from the other one, that one. I need to take off from this uh, This runway goes down there. Right. I know which runway I'm taking off from. Right. Air traffic control, they will do it properly. Set departure for the uh, west. Reykjavik ground, Kodiak, November 289er, Kilo, Quebec, with Sierra request taxi for takeoff west departure. Kodiak, November 289er, Kilo, Quebec, taxi to and hold short of runway 1 tree via taxiway cross runway 24 cross runway 19er echo. Contact tower on 118 decimal zero when ready. Hi uh, Keith, Keith's there. 
Oh, hello, Keith. How long have you been sitting there for? Because you know, um, uh, Tony's supposed to be keeping an eye on the chat, but he doesn't configure the flight sim at the minute. Uh, uh, I was sure I I'm just trying to not squash uh, the push out guy. Right, I need no. to go to. I forgot which runway it is now. Damn it. It's, um, it's that one over there. We need to take off in the wind, you see. We so do. I need to go turn down here. Four days, Keith, it's taken me to. Well, I went to Tony's house yesterday and he um, did what he did. I don't know what you did. What did you do? <laughs> it's still windows eventually. Yeah. Then I got back home and it seemed to be working all right. Then um, it all went pear shaped again. So it's all down. All this, pro all these problems are down to windows. I'm supposed to stop here. Stop, 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 stop. I'm just supposed to uh, ask for um, takeoff clearance. Rate tower my my controls aren't working. Ready at runway one tree west departure. What, your yoke controls? Mm. I had no, um, what do you call it? I'll be with you in a second. Just going in to configure reaction. Just taxing to the end of the runway. So we're at uh, Reykjavik Airport in Iceland and we're flying to Greenland. Contact Tony November 289 Kilo, Quebec. Please acknowledge. Right. Sorry, I didn't acknowledge you. I forget to acknowledge air traffic control. For takeoff Just press one. 3, Kodiak, November 289 Kilo, Quebec. Tony will tell us uh, what airport we're supposed to be landing at. Really? You know, when it's tell me that when I am um, out of it. It's all right. It's you, you carry on what you're doing. I'll tell people which airport it's, it is. It's a little island. I've got to look at Google Maps. Right. BGKK. -B -B right. There's Iceland, and the airport we're landing at is called. It's on an island called uh, Kulisuk. K U L U S U K. Kulisak Island, Greenland. So that's the island we landed at. So it's going to take about, I don't know, a while to get there. Yeah, over just water. That's the oh. problem with computers. Yes, it is. Hmm. Tony will tell you how, many, how long it's taken me to sort this out. Quite a while. Eventually he gave up and came to me. Yeah. I drove all the way over to Newbiggin on the sea. But what a great day. I did some filming there with the Mavic Air 2. What are those two things, um, statues, things called? Yeah, I don't know. They're just... Just the lady and the gent out at sea. What are you doing? I'm sitting on the runway just activating real weather. Oh, just so I can crash. Can you tell me when you when you're ready to take off? I'm ready to take off. Right. We're gonna take off. Right. It's put me on a runway next to you, I think. Well, I'm on runway one nine. I mean, yeah, probably on the same one, actually. 
here comes Greenland. We're off to Greenland mm. on our world tour. And I'm in the air and I didn't crash. Contact November 289 Kilo, Quebec. Leaving my airspace frequency change approved. I'll have to see if I can catch you up then. Didn't crash. Reykjavik Tower, Kodiak, November 289 Kilo, Quebec. Frequency change. So all you have to do now is go to the flight plan. And we're off to Greenland. That's ridiculous. Well, going to Greenland. I, no, I had a I had a a side wind, right? Yeah. And the aircraft went exactly about forty feet that was airborne. Oh really? <laughs> Flaps up. Flaps up. Nice sunset at the minute. Yeah, it's gonna be dark time we get to Greenland. Indeed. I might have to do a flight down your way, Keith, because I've updated the graphics. Right, let me just I'm just coming the... I'm just coming around to the flight plan uh, line. Yeah, I'm just setting the altitude up. I'm going to take it up to about uh, probably five thousand. So if there's any flight simmers out there want to join us, we're on the Northern Europe server, I think. And we've taken off from Burke Airport. I've never actually checked the uh if I can see you. To be honest. I might be on the wrong server. And what I want to do now is get up high. I can get up. there's some cloud here, see so I want to get above it. Uh, I cannot see you, I don't think. I need to adjust my trim. I'm just gonna see which server I'm on. Which server are you on? Oh uh, let me have to stop. Wait a minute. Just just escape quickly and uh Northern Europe. Ah, uh, see, I'm on West Europe, so I'm just going to yeah. change that one. So if anybody okay. wants to join us, we're on Northern Europe server. we now just got to find you. And Air we're traffic. We're off to Greenland. Uh, Air Green traffic. Why is Greenland called Greenland? Because uh, it's got green bits, I suppose. I cannot see you at the minute. My plane seems to be um, climbing really steeply. Then adjust it. I am. My name plates are on, etc., etc. So, oh, they just term they just terminated me. What has? Air traffic control. They're not happy with me. Well, you don't follow the rules, that's why. I didn't speak to them. Didn't file a flight plan. Oh, I think I see you behind me. The sound sounds good, Tony, he said. All right. I think I see you behind me. No, maybe that's the air. No, that's... No, I think that's the... Um... I stopped climbing too steep for me. I am um, actually... Um, I don't see you at the minute. Uh, just do your roller. At the bottom, you know, you've got your visual climb. I'm trying to get out of this cloud, and I'm trying to um, sort out my trim. As soon as I've done that, I can concentrate on, on you more. I don't want to go out of the plane, because if I do... I Why is my plane... Up. My plane's really climbing really steeply. 
because your roller is too high. I've already adjusted it. No, on your dashboard. You got your altitude. No, I don't ignore that. Yeah, well, if it's set to a thousand, that's where you adjust it. If your trim's uh, not level. Now I'm coming down in height. I'm going to have to teach you how to do it. Yeah. Hello, X2 Cousins. Hi, X2 Cousins. How are you doing? Me and Tony are flying from uh, Reykjavik Airport in Iceland to Greenland on our world tour. I've had cool. four. I've had four days of uh, computer problems and this is the first time we've got it to work properly. So, um... Well, we found out the, what the problem was, didn't we? Yes, Windows 10. Windows 10 was the problem when it did an update. Yeah. It didn't communicate with flight sim properly. No. So, um... If you've got problems, then, yeah. That's what you do. Yeah, Windows 10. You can download a, um... You need an 8 gig uh, SD card. What you do is you go to Microsoft and you download um, Windows and it'll say, do you want to make a USB up? And you say yes. And it'll create, um, if you have your SD card in, it'll create a Windows bootable SD card. Um, but if your computer refuses to boot from it, you can uh, actually click on the setup from the SD card and it will start installing that way, which in the old days you couldn't do, but on the newer version you can. So, um, when you need a new Windows, you can do it. So there you go. If anybody's got any questions for Tony, just um, put it in the chat, because he knows a lot more than I do. Yeah. I seem to be going off course. You haven't got your nav on, that's why. You're trying to fly it manually. And we have a 12 knot wind pushing us along. Handy. Mm. Although I'm at 5,000 feet and I'm in cloud. Me too. I'm at uh, 6,000 and odd feet. I'm still in cloud. Well, we'll have to go up to 12,000 feet and stick the oxygen on. Because we've got the oxygen switch. See if... I reckon that they're going to implement that, you know. Do you? Well, in, in the old flight sim, if you went to a certain height and you didn't have certain things on, uh, you could have blackouts, like if you did a a 12G turn in a jet, you actually black out in flight sim. And it'll crash? It'll wake you up well, 10 seconds before you hit the deck, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, um, but with these aircraft here, yeah, they are limited, um, you know, I mean, they can go quite high, they can go to about 16,000 feet. Uh, but in the same light, um, we are now at minus three, so we need our oh, uh, we on. need our heaters on, and on top of that, you need to um, put have on. your. And I'm going to put the oxygen on as well, so that's on. That's cool. The ices are on. Oxygen's on. All handy, Andy. Thanks for reminding me, boss. Mm. Surface, uh, what's that on? I'm going to stick me surface uh, on the... The surface of the props can be heated up on this one. Yeah, I know. So I'll switch that on as well. Make sure to keep the props de-iced. Alright, I'm trying to break through this cloud. Hopefully we'll get some blue sky in a minute. Actually, I'm dropping in high here. Inlet not BP. Really? What does that mean? Who said that? Onboard dashboard. Oh. Just 
seen uh, inlet. Right, I think I've got it spot on now. I've got the trim sorted out. Just have to keep on that level uh, line. Am I going down in altitude? I am. Why am I going down in altitude? I'm supposed to be going up. Because you're not on autopilot. I don't trust autopilot. Well, I don't trust you because every time you say I'm going down. At least the autopilot's got me at 8,500. I've just broke over the top. No, I've just crashed. You haven't. Because I was trying to access the maps, right? Oh, God's sake. And the, and the maps are above that window. As soon as you open that window, this aircraft crashes. Well, you have to... Um, I'll catch you up, don't worry. Catch me up. I'm coming up above the clouds. I need to put, yeah. more, I need to put more trim on. A little I hope, a tiny bit. I am hoping that they sort this out because this aircraft should not crash when the window opens. You know what I mean? Yeah. Alright. Uh, that's handy. I just clicked on you and it uh, it opened up your flight plan. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Here's me doing a lot of doing. Trying, I, I'm flying around this cloud, so if I'm going off the center line, it's because I don't want to fly through that great big cloud. You don't need uh, controls on the right hand stick there. Uh, you've got the up and the down, and the left and the right. On mine, has been configured up for the trim. Has it? Mm. On the update, it, kind of, it, it did it. I haven't tried it yet, but because I had them for different. Oh well, I've just come back into clear weather and actually see Iceland ahead of me. But, uh, right, we'll see. I can see three people, well, two people watching because I got a Tony's watching. No one's put a thumbs up. Can't do it. Yes. So put a thumbs up, guys. Or put, a th uh, or put a thumbs down if you don't like it, you know, stick a thumbs down. So we've got a long flight to uh, Greenland. And the time we get there, I think it's going to be dark. Hopefully this airport's got um, runway lights. We didn't even check to see if it had runway lights. No. Maybe Tony can look that up. I'm trying at the minute. Tony's doing the technical stuff, by the way. I'm doing the flight plans. He does all the technical stuff, like weather, airspeed, fuel, um, that sort of crazy stuff. Mm. All I have to do is put flight plans in. Right, we're going around that cloud so I can sort of come back to the uh, right a bit. Get back onto the flight plan. Zoom out on the map. Air traffic is driving me nuts. Is it? It keeps nagging me and all I've got to do is try and get everything else sorted out. Oh good, you might shut up then. <laughs> Sound very ofty there. Perfect. The next one. You're not responding. Good day. <laughs> I'm a cup of tea, woman. You're crazy. Yeah, maybe. How many strings have I got? Uh, D D D D D D. Right. What altitude am I at? Uh, one thousand one hundred. No, 
16, 17,000 feet, 18,000 feet. No, I can't be right. Am I reading that right? I don't know. 1,700 feet. 6,000 feet. No, sorry, 11,900 feet. God, read it properly. For God's sake. We are in trouble with you. Yeah. I'm at a Where are you? Yeah, I'm above a cloud. Okay. <laughs> Good one. I like it. <laughs> you can tell we're like uh, rookie pilots. <laughs> right, what we've got here? Uh, dee -dee -dee. It was BG, wasn't there? There's was no, there no active things there. Damn it. What are you talking about? Well, I can't get my Skypad working, and uh, there's certainly no jobs at BGKK. Um, Can you find out if there's runway lights there? I don't think there is. Because if it's dark, we're going to have a big problem landing there. Unless there's another airport that has got runway lights. I'm zooming into uh, the area I'm supposed to be landing. It's not even on my sky park, which is ridiculous. This is concerning. This me. is concerning. Because I don't want to fly all this way and find we can't land because we can't see the runway. I did say take out a floating plane, we'll be all right. But you said you couldn't get it running. I would have downloaded it again. That's not me, that's, a, that's another aircraft. Okay. Damn it. Damn it, what? I didn't do my fuel. What's your fuel level? 69.7%. You'll be alright. It's uh, got a range of 1,300. It's 400 miles to where we're going. Uh, if you take your uh, black lever back and your blue lever back about halfway, that will give you enough to get there with spare. Okay, I've done that. Well, I've done it a little bit. I'm going to fire through that hole in that cloud. I'm back in cloud at uh, 5,000 feet. I thought uh, I'm going to press B as well just to make sure. No. Oh yes, I forgot to do that. Press B. Get your altitudes right and uh, you'll be fine. Uh, let's see if we can pull the aircraft up. I'd, I mean it was 8,000 feet where it was clear. Some anyway, else. Keith, what have you been up to? You're still listening. We'll have to go down and visit them. Yes, we must come down and visit you. Me and uh, Tony can come down for a day trip. It'll have to be a day trip. <clears throat> Can't leave my cat by itself. Uh, where are we in a minute? We're coming up through 6100. I can see blue sky above me. That hole I was flying towards in the cloud has suddenly closed up. Mm, it says closed for business. Yeah, it's not letting me through. Let me see if we can... Uh, dee 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 dee. Let's see if we've got a program, uh, the flight plan. Right. Let's see what the menu's got. Um, I need to find out what this airport's got, runway lights or not. Ugh. Trouble is, I won't, I, I won't know on Flight Simulator because Flight Simulator is going to be completely different than real life. You've got a visual approaches 11 and 29 there. Is it? 
Yeah. Um, the wind's on a one two four, so it would be um, two nine. We're going to land on. Right. Um, that much. That much I can tell you. Uh, get the straight in approach on that one. Okay, so we're 362 miles off that. Can't access anything on the old computers though. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good fun. That's procedure. Iceland. <coughs> Quite a few airports coming up on this coast, you know. Is there? Yeah, there's BIDA as well. As long as we've got one with runway lights, I don't care. By the time we get there, it's going to be dark. No, sorry, no, we're not. We're not even clear there. Oh, what's my phone? Uh, so much to do when you're flying. Trying to fly and you're trying to look at iPads and stuff. Um, Iceland. Uh, K U L U S. Well, that seems to be okay. Flight to Mortal Part 3, Iceland to Greenland Pacific Airport. Hmm. Live. L. I. V. E. What are you doing? I'm typing it in to YouTube channel. Uh, you're out in the cloud by the looks of it. Yeah, I am. Um, Let's go outside the aircraft to have a an outside look. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Wow! You can see the sun reflecting off the uh, ocean there. That. Now let's have a see where Tony is. Still in the cloud, I doubt he'll see me. I'm trying uh, to get out. Of can't see you at all. Where are nope. you? Uh, good question. In a cloud. I'm just going to uh, Where's take Tony? it up. Where's Tony? I don't want to be up here by myself. I'm under a warm blanket. I can't see you because you're in the cloud probably. Yeah, I'm just going to take it up to 12,000. Well, at the moment I'm at... Uh, 12,200 feet. But I'm going to throttle off a little bit. Because I don't want to go above that.
Oh, Jeffrey's in the house. Is he? Yeah. It's, it is very cloudy, very windy as well, down on the uh, lower uh, areas. We've got a, a, a tailwind of 16 knots at the minute. And about 200 miles ahead of us, we've got the Labrador Sea. I don't know why it's called that. Probably lots of Labradors go there. <laughs> God's sake. Labrador Sea, honestly. That's what it's called. So we are. Let's have a little look, see if I zoom that down. Now, why are you not going? Let's see. My uh, aircraft is off centre, it's trying to get onto the pink line at the minute. It's actually uh, taking me away, I'm going to let it do what it's doing. Because it's indicating that I should be turning right here on a 299, but it's sending me off on autopilot to a 225, which I think may be a marker. Because I've asked for a, a particular route into this airport. Should be now. Why are you doing that? Uh, no, you're not. Don't be awkward. What's been awkward? The aircraft's been awkward. This mine's been a little bit of a pain in the ass. Especially my Oops. trim, it keeps wanting. That's it. Now I have to back the other way now. That's it. Got it spot on now. Look at that. Now I can't see the chat because I'm busy filling in the um, thing on uh, YouTube. It just says it looks cloudy, which it is. Uh, minus 13, my uh, windscreen is just iced up. Stick with the ice is on. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, I mean, I am at twelve thousand four hundred, and I am still in cloud. just broke through that cloud. Oh, that's pretty. All the clouds are below me now. That's cool.
Yeah, as I say, it's uh, I mean, if we're going to update Flight Sim every month for the next three years, that's a lot of data. Yes, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the arse. Like I keep saying, I wish they would just do it every two months. In that case, it'll be the next 12 years. Mm. But the thing They're is, it, it's not Flight Sim I've been having the problem with. It's, it's Windows 10 I've been having the problems with. Yeah. I mean, the next... Uh, update we're getting is a couple of new aircraft as far as I'm aware. More clouds. I might adjust my uh, flight pattern to go around. around these clouds sorry I'm not ignoring anybody if anybody's in the chat I'm not ignoring you I'm busy typing on there's the, no there's nobody in the chat isn't there I'm just uh, typing away in the uh, YouTube page what do you call it? Um, Keith's watching. Keith's watching. Thank you, yeah. Keith. Thank you, Keith. Although it only says one watching now, so probably me. It's all right. It's a bit boring for people to watch people fly over the ocean. Yeah, Jeffrey's there. Yeah, he's meowing. meowing. Um, I heard. Go to sleep. What cats should do, go to sleep. Right, I'm back and I'm in the chat. Got one person watching and that's you. Jeffrey said, give me a love, give me a love. You've had loves all day. How many loves do you want, for God's sake? Mm -hmm. There, 20 kisses. I'll tell you what, this uh, cloud, the mm. ceiling of the clouds quite high because I'm at um, uh, 20,000 feet coming up to now. I'm at 12, you weren't going to go any higher. What's the, what's the limit? of this aircraft, how? Is it 26,000? I have no idea, I think so. Uh, Actually, I'm going to have to throttle off a little bit, leaving up my flight. Pretty certain it's uh, twenty thousand, twenty-six thousand. Huh, I just realised the flight time is running as well on this. You know. What do you mean flight time? On your dashboard, it's yeah. a Honeywell Quartz, yeah. It tells you how many um, hours you've been running. Flight time and block time. 18. 18 hours, I've been going to 19. Uh, well, it must be 19. Right, I'm going to see if I can... Going out the plane to see if I can see you. Be a lot less than you. Right, let's see if we can see Tony. Where is he? No, still can't see you. Where the hell are you? I did appear next year, I was supposed to. 
and I can't see anybody. The skies are clear. I can see somebody behind me. It's not you. You sure you're on the Northern Europe server? Because mm -hmm. I clicked on you and it says you want to change. So you're there. Have you have you put your um? Yes. Thing on. Yes. I've got all the all on. I wonder how far back you are from me. I'll just go for my general options. Uh, traffic. Online is on. Online is off. Online is on. Yeah. Well, the only person that's behind me is the guy at Iceland Airport. That is uh, TFK. LM one nine eight zero, and I can't see you anywhere. Oh, he knows where I'm going anyway, don't you? I do. Mm. I see. I've got nobody with me out here. Have, uh, well, I have uh, three three twenty eight miles a minute. Well, I tell you what, if I go to my dashboard, I, um, I can tell you how far away I am from the airport where we're supposed to be landed at. Um, right. Uh, um, it says there somewhere, um, distance, 304 nautical, no, that's not it, is that it? Thank God, it says distance, left hand guard, Garmin says it. See that on my dashboard? Yeah, it says well, about three or something. It's that centre purple one at the top. Three o three. Oh, there. Yeah. Three hundred and three nautical miles to go. In that case, you're twenty two miles ahead of me. So I should see you easily behind me. Not in cloud, you won't. Why does it block it off? Yes. I didn't know that. I didn't realise you were finding cloud. I'm right behind the clouds at the minute. If you're ahead of me, there's some thick clouds in there. Yeah. If they're full of snow or rain, then it'll deflect. So. going to be fun landed at the other side. Okay. Well, what it's saying to me at the minute, I've just activated an approach into the airport. Yeah. And it's to, it says, uh, it's 57 miles before I start making the initial turn. Right. So, but I don't know which way it's going to take me. So, let's see. Looks cloudy. Yes, it is cloudy. But I think Tony is actually flying in cloud, aren't he? Yeah. Right. He said that over an hour ago. Did he? Did not. Mm -hmm. he, well. 
Did he? He oh. did. It was one of us. So that was the last thing he said. Oh. Before he went and watched his uh, football. <laughs> <laughs> but two eyes, you see. One on the flight and one on the ball. We're on a 3 1. I don't know about this. Excuse me for a minute. I've got a potty in the back of the plane I need to use. Yeah, 55.6 miles to my turn, and I'm back in cloud at 12,400 feet. Minus 14 up here. Oh dear, dear, dear. That means hail, snow, freezing tanks. Uh, a little bit of ice on my wings there. Mm, not good. What about this side? Yeah, a little bit of uh, ice starting on my aircraft on both wings I think I'll better see if I can Just, just I look out my window. My uh, wings are icing up. Did you hear me? I said, uh, if you've looked at your wings, you'll see that they're getting frozen up at minus 14. Uh, I've got my heaters on. I know. If you look out your window, you'll see how cold it is. No, I meant for your wings, just look out the window. My wings aren't got any ice on them. I can't see any ice. Where's the ice on my wings? Look out my tail. The ice on my tail. Devices. Get that out of the way. Pilot heat on. Oh. Surface prop. Mm -hmm. Turn airframe propeller the ice are on. Yes. Right, I've covered, I've covered all the bats now. Mm. Oh, I've got a bit of turbulence then. Don't know why I got turbulence at this height. I'm at uh, 12,000 400. I'm at about 20, 20, uh, 21,000 feet. I'm still climbing. 
You want to level off. Yeah, I do. Really. I just don't want to get into this cloud because as soon as you go into cloud, then you start icing up because of the moisture. That's why I'm avoiding it. It's probably why you got ice on your wings. Two hundred and fifty mile before I start me. Um, approach. I'm just leaving the coast at the minute. Where's the where? Greenland, ice, yeah, Iceland. I am exactly 49.1 mile before I start making a left turn to the runway type thing, but it's still, still 300. See. Still can't see you. Nope, don't know why. It's not there. Tony's not there. Where's Tony gone? Nope, he's here. That's the problem. Maybe the server's down. You're on the map, but... I'm flying in between two layers of cloud. I've got an upper layer and a lower layer. You better press B. Oh, look at that. Dropped in height really quickly. 20,390 feet. I don't particularly want to fly in the dark, but it looks like we're going to end up flying in the dark. That's instrument flying. Keep us in, uh, keep us safe. for the cruise. Doesn't actually tell us in the help. For what? On the brick boxes for our aircraft. Oh, it just right. tells us okay. what the maximum and oh, I'm just trying to see what the maximum height is. I tell you what, can you see my nameplate? No. I wonder if mine's switched off. Uh, hang on, I'm going to pause it. Because I've been fiddling around with all the settings. Um, I just wonder if it's switched off. Uh, oh. Where is it? Where do I find if it's switched on and off? Any general options, yeah. Accessi accessibility? Uh, no, traffic. Oh, traffic. Oh, it's on. I'll switch it off and switch it back on again to see if that makes any difference. Can you see my name plate now? Can't see out at the minute. Back in cloud. I'm about twenty thousand three hundred and ten feet. I can see a blue below me, I can see the sea below me, I can see the sun in front of me. That's about it. That's about it. Things will get a bit more interesting once we get over to Canada. At the moment, we're just flying over ocean and it, it's a bit boring, but um, 
can't help that. We're on a world tour. Ocean's down there somewhere. There's the ocean down there. <sighs> Bit annoying, I can't see your nameplate. I don't know where you are. Not even on radar. No. I don't know what's gone wrong there then. No, I'm going to bring up... Actually, I've installed a, another map system. The GA750. I'll see if I can pull that up. What's your um, airspeed? 138. I've got any information on here. No. I'll give us information. Let me have a little look see. Now where we're going to was it B? What was that? What was it? B was pissed me off. Nothing. Um, the airport. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you in a second. Give me a, give me a minute. I don't think it's in range for me at the minute. Uh, B G K K. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not on the maps. When I get a bit closer, I might be able to wind out. I'm just seeing if what my airspeed is. 131 knots, and I seem to be losing altitude. Nerve-wracking business is flying across the sea. Gotcha. Well, so far everything's working fine. It's just, uh I've got an awful feeling we have to land in the dark and uh, find a runway in the dark if that hasn't got runway lights is going to be a big problem. Unless there's another airport that has got runway lights. Never thought of that when I took off. <laughs> I did. But you didn't want a bigger aircraft. Mm. Yeah, Tony wanted to use the floating plane. 
At least we could have landed where we wanted to. Yeah. Trouble is, landing in the sea at dark in a floating plane, that's just as bad as trying to find a bloody runway. It's just got no trees to hit. I don't think there'll be any trees on ice, uh, Greenland. Might be some icebergs. You don't know that. Microsoft puts trees on little islands of cough canis. It's all rocks. <laughs> outside to see if I can see. She's totally popped up yet. No, no sign of him. Have a look down there, around there. No, no sign of Tony. We know where we're flying to, so we'll meet up at the airport. It's not like we don't know where we're going to. It's all been programmed in. Twenty-two thousand two hundred feet I think I am at that. I'm holding a twelve fold. So wonderful flying into the sun. Looks really cool. Well, we're 123 miles from Burke. That's the place that we took off from. I'll tell you how many miles I am from the airport we're going to. I'm uh, at 273 at the minute. Um, distance, 248 miles. Got 248 miles to go. Yeah, you're still ahead of me, so. How far are you from it? 272. And I'm doing 129 knots ish. Between two. Well, 128 knots. 137. So you should catch up to me quite quickly at yeah, that speed. Yeah, but I'm going on a different route, aren't I? Are you? Why? I thought you were following the same line I am. I follow the same line, but I asked it for vectors for a visual. Oh, be calm. right. So that's different. I can tell you now it has. Uh, Iceland Rift. Are you giving me that information? 5 and 23. That's Decided to turn my cabin lights on. So I don't want, in case I forget when it gets dark. To that. I am heading for a, a BIRF transmitter at 66 miles away. Uh, but it's saying that the runways on the destination, if I'm reading it right, is runway 5 and 23. It's a hard, it's a hard service. 
and it's 62 feet wide and 2,651 feet long. Well, that's quite long. So it should be lit at that thing. Yeah, it should be lit. Hopefully it is lit. Because if it's not, we're in big trouble. That's if it's giving us the right data. The sun's starting to go down over the horizon. And we're 200 and odd miles away from the airport. Would have got there sooner if I hadn't had problems with windows. It's my fault. If Windows 10 had been behaving itself, we'd have been there by now. I mean, my. Uh, heading is for a thing called final. It's a two six four yeah. mile. That's me um, final uh, to get into land, like. Uh, but we're fair away from it at the minute. What have we got here? BRD, BRD, BRD. First, D, P, I, K. Nothing, nothing on the dashboards. 140 miles is uh, the limit of me radar. Right. So if I'm, when I'm about 140 miles off the airport, I should get more information. God, I'm only I'm down to 36 percent fuel. That's not good. 35% um, fuel. Yeah, I'm just going for the fuel, see what I've got. It's going to be close. It's probably because I've climbed up to 21,000 feet, that's why I've used more fuel. Exactly. At the minute, right, I'm, uh, I'm going to bring my fuel mixture down a little bit. At the minute, I've used 233, um, and I've got a, I've got a range of 527. If you come down t into your centre screen, okay, it ain't a car, I know. On the left hand screen there's a uh, button called engine. If you click on the engine so it's green, yeah. which it is, there's there's a lean. Do you see lean? Where? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. press on lean. Yeah. And it'll come up with what you've got left and what you've done. Alright. Uh, flow you've is 251. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, I need to just keep an eye on my, um, yeah, it's all right. Close 251. And it tells you your range, uh, uh north of the miles, the bottom one. Bottom one, range is 544. So you should be all right then. Yeah, if I'm all right. Thank you for that. Tony's full of useful information. Mm. So I've got plenty of fuel. Can't see the sun anymore. Where's the sun gone? You can't see it at your height. I've got no chance. Yeah, the sun's gone. Still got the clouds are still glowing. Yeah, clouds are still glowing.
sun's gone below the either gone below the clouds or below the horizon. So it's gonna get dark. Don't like finding the dark. Twenty thousand feet and still got cloud. Yeah, that's why I'm holding it twelve four. Are you in cloud? Yes. Well, I'm out of cloud at the minute, but I'm going back into cloud in a second. Have you got your live stream on? No. no. I can start a live stream. Splendid. But try. Not as it doesn't interfere with your flight. I don't know. Got two choices, hasn't it? Thanks for the two thumbs ups, by the way. Well appreciated. I, I was one of them. Were you? Oh, thank you. Right, out the way, come on. Basically, we've got the worst bit over with flying over the ocean here. Um, I know we've got some other ocean flights, but I think this is the longest. From Bonnie, Scotland to um, the Faroe Islands to Iceland and to Greenland, so it's a big ocean to cross. Mouse didn't want to work. Damn mouses. Um, it says if I press alternate F8, it would actually. Uh, alternate F8. Let's have a look. Yeah, that brought it up. Oh, God's sake. Will you stop doing that? in cloud, that's probably why I can't see your name quite. I'm looking behind and I can't see you anywhere. No, I can't do it. Can't do it. No. Won't let me uh That looks really confident in what she's doing. It's cocked up now. G force will not cancel. Okay. No, nope, so I can't see the aircraft at the minute. I think we're getting, we're getting into some problems here. The clouds are getting thicker. The sun hasn't gone down. Great, it was clouds, it was blocking it. <coughs> God, I'm a 
20,000 feet and I've got cloud. I mean, lav logs still says I've got 372 miles to go. Yeah, I think that's what the problem is. You're flying into cloud, and that's why I can't see your nameplate. I'm in cloud now. This is why you have in flight entertainment. You're going to give us some. You can tell some jokes. <laughs> mm, what was that one? Uh, what happens when you're not feeling well in your house? I don't know. You go into the living room. Oh, very good. <laughs> rubbish. Yeah, it is rubbish. <laughs> Yesterday at the Shell Garage, a man was robbed, right? Yeah. And he called the police, and the police arrived with blue lights and that, and the sergeant got out, he says, are you right, sir? He says, yeah, but I've been robbed. He says, did you get an identification of the person who robbed you? He went, yeah, it was pumped full. <laughs> <laughs> right, I need to go. I've got an esky in the plane. A lot of people won't know what an esky is. Do you know what an esky is? It's a dog, usually. A uh, what? An Eskimo's dog, isn't it? An esky is, well, it's an Australian term. An esky is uh, a cooler, uh, a box to put your beer in. Oh, right. It's got an esky. Oh, well, there you go. Right, I'll be back in a minute. I need to get in the back of my plane. I put it on autopilot, so I shouldn't have any problems. Yeah, right. Drinking and driving, flying, wherever. Hmm. Well, we'll see how this works. And then... Hello, chill. My cat's coming to visit. Yeah. I'm back. My cat's coming to visit. Is he? Mm. Teddy's cat's called Chill. <laughs> How did you come up with that name, Chill? It what he came with. In it, Chill. Oh, right. Because he, he's always chilling. Yeah. I'm putting that keyboard out there so you can sit up there in the mouse, yes. You can't have the mouse. Right, just sit on that table, just there. You monitor YouTube. <laughs> Good boy. <sighs> well, I'm flying, in, I'm flying in cloud at the moment. At 20,590 feet. Mm. Must be some big clouds up here to be at that point. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, mine's an autopilot. I'm just going to get the cat's treat because that's what he wants. Okie dokie. I didn't have a cat in the thing anyway, but there you go. He, he's now sitting. I've got. I'll get you a treat. 
196 miles to go. At least I've got not that far to go now. Tony's feeding his cat. Can't see anything out there apart from cloud. Nothing in the back of the plane. Got all the lights on. I can turn that one on. And you'd like to have that little spot lamp there. Don't like finding this cloud. It's a bit uh, boring when you can't see anything around you. Look at that, it's just cloud. wonder if I should go up the height a little bit more, see if I can get above it. I'm back. You're back. Ah, I just wonder if I should climb up an altitude. I am going up an altitude. I am going to go up more in altitude. And let's see if I can get above this cloud. Your aircraft may crash. Why? If you go above the level, I'm at... Uh... 12,400 and between the levels I've got lovely clear sky ahead of me. Have you? Mm, 12,000. i got uh, blue sky ahead of me and there's no big clouds in front of me. Well, about 20,000 of feet and I'm in cloud. And the wind's to the left. The wind's to my left as well. Oop, I just started to do my turn. That's very good. And now facing towards the sun. Yeah, it's, uh, it's turned me round to the heading now, and uh, looking at me maps, mm. going through the proper sequence for a lot arriving. Um, don't know about me fuel, like. At the moment, I've got. Uh... Uh, 32% fuel. I'd be a mid-air one. <laughs> I'm still climbing and I'm still in cloud. As long as you're climbing, you're going to be using more fuel. 20, coming up to 21,000 feet. 
I know, but I could save fuel on the other side when I throttle off. So you say mm. you might you might be gliding. Mm. Hey, pardon me. I need the information on this airport. I'm not finding it. Finding it. Well, that's your job. I pick, I pick the flight plan, you do all the rest. <laughs> Fuel calculations and weather and stuff. Yeah, but you didn't refuel, so... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to. Oh god, I wish I could get out of this cloud. I've got a... A YGX on my speed because I'm only doing 90 at the minute. What's YGX? Uh, the fog is I've got to research it. It's the stalling speed, etc. Mm. But at the minute, I'm um, between the two of them and I'm getting pretty worried because I'm at full throttle nearly trying to get the speed up and I can't. And I should be doing going a bit faster. I've got a 14 knot uh, tailwind. Right. That's why I'm flying in cloud. Why? Because there's a great big cloud on the radar. Mm. I've just zoomed out on the center screen. If you if you look on my live you can see I'm flying some sort of uh, weather front I've not uh, got the weather switched on mine I don't think so I'm flying through um, some bad weather but if I was lower, it would probably be worse. So it's just as well I'm at 21,300 feet. Yeah, at the minute, the um, I'm going to hit the edge of the clouds at the minute. I'm in fairly light cloud at the minute. Heavier clouds off to the left, which my aircraft's turning towards. And a little bit of lightning as well. Never. You got light then. No, That's well, you were off to your left. If you look at your radar, yeah. If you zoom in onto that cloud, you've got the uh, yeah, the green, which means you're above. Yes, I've got the green. Yeah, and, and then we got yellow, yellow. Yellow, and there's red. That's, that's, the red is usually thunderstorms. All oh, right. So you can see that on my screen. Yeah, I see it on my screen, never mind yours. And Actually, you, you, you look like you're above me because I'm not. I'm, I'm right there. I'm up there above you. Well, you must be above me. Interesting. Mm. Not far to go now. Nearly there. Two twenty-one. I should be able to pull up some information if it's... Oh, I can see the coast of Greenland. It's coming up on my map. Wow. Yeah. Great. It's just popping up now. Uh, wonderful. It's still a fair way though. Yeah. So I'm hoping I can get there before it gets dark. Because this cloud layer we're going across at the minute on the left hand side is over 150 miles across. Yeah. It's a bit boring when you're just looking at cloud in front of you. Mm. But that's what pilots do. Yeah, that's what pilots do. Well, we're pilots. Mm. 
talking about drone pilots. <laughs> drone pilots fly the flight sim. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, finals. Just I don't know how much. Just gonna have a look how many miles I am from the airport. 163 miles to go. Not far. 163 miles. Excuse me. I'm glad I got the flight sim working properly anyway. Yes. Things are going to get a bit more interesting once we get to um, Canada. This flying over the ocean business is a bit boring, but never mind. I have to do it in Concord. Actually, yeah. there's a guy. There's a guy who downloaded Concord. I don't know where he got it from. But... Not on flight sim, though. Yeah, on flight sim. Doing the Mac loop. What the the Xbox on Xbox? I don't, I don't know which one it was. I just saw Concord doing the Mac loop and. Yeah. Uh, just uh, was flights in 2020 like mm. I'm on the second series of that UFO thing I showed you quite interesting I haven't watched it yet it's very good if anybody See, carry oh, on God. sorry carry on the second part they talk to uh, Indians that still celebrate uh, the visitation of the god, the sky gods. Which Indians? They're in the uh, Az Aztec. Aztec in Indians, all oh, right. Got you. Yeah. And uh, they have sky charts of where these gods come from. Mm. And they had a, a metal stick that was like a... a a devil's fork but it had a bend on the the, the um the handle yeah. yeah yeah and it had markings on it and what they were showing was a planet which they just discovered and it's actually in a, a, a an orbit um which is one planet goes around the other way one way and one goes around another mm. and that's where the aliens come from and these guys have got a metal thing shown exactly that really and it was from ages and ages ago mm. they are saying oh they obviously learned about this from us but no they didn't mm. because they've been doing that before and uh, normal man had uh, found these people you know mm. well, if anybody wants to look at real UFO footage just go to my channel you can see some real UFO footage. That Tony helped to analyse. Yeah. Got UFOs on my channel too. And he's got UFOs on his channel, so go to DJIG. Why, why have I got problems with your, saying your channel? The DJI man, Tony. Yeah, I can't say it properly because I'm an idiot. <laughs> you fly a DJI flipping item, so you should be able to get it right. I have to say, Tony's UFO footage is better than mine. It's quite disturbing actually that something flew over and put a shadow on the sea and over the pier. That is spooky. It is. Yeah. And then uh, Missionary Pride had one as well, didn't he? Yeah. He didn't say that. Yeah. He didn't want to say that because pilots don't like saying it to UFO because it can affect their career, can't it? It can. Oh, hello Jeffrey, how are you? Just come in from outside. We had a, uh, out in Cyprus we had two UFOs when I was in the Air Force. Really? 
Yeah, we had uh, a, a ball of light come down uh, onto the runway. It actually reflected itself on the, the runway. We had our blue lights on. Mm. And this thing, just just before it touched down the runway, just popped out of existence. But it was a very slow mm. coming down. The Air Force uh, put it down to uh, lightning, ball lightning. Mm. But uh, I don't think it was because it was very controlled before it actually touched the ground. And then a week later, um, we had an object appear on radar and uh, we had a helicopter coming down the mountain at Trudos and a helicopter going up from Cacteri mm. and uh, we, uh, the air traffic control guided them in uh, to find this object yeah. and when it was on radar all three had merged uh, <coughs> the air traffic said uh, copter one from Cacteri can you see anything above you and he looked up and he says, yeah, I see the helicopter from Trudos. Mm. And he said to Trudos, what do you see? And he went, below is the Akateri helicopter. Yeah. Okay, but there was a, another object there. And then all of a sudden, the uh, other one left at 12,000 miles an hour and threw a, a vortex on the helicopters and they were spinning out of control. Really? And they, might get, they, they had to get in control of the aircraft. And I said, just one minute was calm with wind, and then all of a sudden, push, and it was all hell let loose. Mm. That was Cyprus. That was Cyprus. Had some good times in Cyprus. But you did. Nice place to go, really, Cyprus. Did you ever mm. get down to the beach and do some swimming? I did, yeah. Oh my god, I got a break in the cloud. Oh. We had a basking shark come in the, the harbour. He's a big one. He was, was only 27 feet across, uh, long. Hmm. And I had the helicopter up and they put a, a 16, or, no, a full round of bullets in, 51 bullets. Oh, and you, it just. You killed it? They tried to kill it, just turned around and went out of sea. Uh. It probably did die, but. Uh, they were a bit worried about it being in because the kids were in the water as well. Oh, right. So. Understandable. Right, Jeffrey's in the house. Oh, I've got, I, I've got sun and I'm breaking out of the cloud. Wonderful. I'm just, I'm just dropping altitude to uh, 9,500 and I've got holes in the cloud, so there you go. I've been flying through that piece suit for about 35 minutes. I can see the sun in front of me and some blue sky. It's kind of discouraging, you know, when you're in aircraft's in level flight and the clouds are coming up towards you. That kind of worries you. Yeah. Right, what's my altitude? Uh... I'll press B. Press B. I am at 22,180 feet. You uh, are 12,004 descending to 95. And we've got blue sky in front of us. Wonderful. I think I might be able to get there before dark, you know. I might be able to land there before it gets dark. So I can tell you, because I'm in front of you, obviously. Mm. What's your airspeed? 150 now. I'm 128. No, we had uh, one good uh, time we had was when we had uh, an emergency and all the alerts went off. And we got called out air traffic and uh, we went up to air traffic control and he says, you've got to listen to this, Tony. Yeah. And he says, uh, can you identify yourself again and tell us your problem? And he went, this is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. We have <laughs> an emergency, we need your help. And we were all Star Trek fans, he went, 
you do realize you're on a military channel and it's illegal he says i am captain james t kirk of the uss enterprise <laughs> i need your help <laughs> so we said fine what is your emergency he says i've got an unrecoverable jet at this time are we diverting the jet to you <laughs> uh, okay okay so we went into red alert and we got the blue lights out and we uh, got the engines out and formed the runway a bit and then in the distance was this big aircraft and we looked through the binoculars there was uh, eight lights 16 wheels and it was coming down towards the airfield we didn't know where it was oh. as it got closer it turned out to be three uh, F-15s and the, the two on the outer one had the wings extended and they yeah. were supporting the middle one and as they came down the runway, they pulled sideways and dropped them on the runway. And then they, re they went into um, their uh, afterburners over the airfield, <laughs> out of the way. And he, we followed the, the, the other one that they dropped off <laughs> literally on the runway, pulled him down and got him popped up and was said to him, OK, what, well, you know, are you all right? And he came out, for oh, sake, he says, What's up? I says, he says, I've lost five foot in my wing. That's why I couldn't control it. And he says, there was 12 fully armed ground to air missiles really? on there. And he says, it's dropped into the ocean. He says, the first uh, shark that's going to come up there, they're going to be an awful big bang. <laughs> <laughs> and then a week later, right, this big ship appears and a speedboat comes in and this captain comes in and it was captain james t kirk <laughs> the ship and the ship was the ussss enterprise you can't make that up can you really <laughs> i says how the excuse me sir how did you get it he says, well, he says when star trek came out he says i was young lad we had to commission the enterprise and it was the first nuclear um a ship that we had so we called it the uss enterprise he says i wasn't even a captain and they saw my name and he says, I was um, Captain Tom uh, John Kirk. And they liked it, so it was Captain George C. Kirk. It was uh -huh. Captain George C. Kirk. And when, he, when, he, when um, he says, I got commissioned, he says, um, that was it. I was Captain, Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise. <laughs> and he says, the first place we got was the Viet Cong. And he says, uh, we went out of the Viet Cong and they were blocking um, the roads. Well, Star Trek had already arrived out there and it was very popular. Mm. And uh, he got on the phone and he says, this is Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise. If you do not shift your hairy little asses, I'm going to blow you out of the sky. <laughs> and <we're passing> <laughs> <laughs> this is that's marvellous. So there you are, I've got Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Cool. Not many people can say that. No, they can't. I'm just going off course a little bit. I think he's re uh, I think he's retired now, like he would have done. Well, I'm not far off Greenland. That's a little look -see. I'm coming down to 9,005 and I'm, 100 to se I'm 173 miles off uh, my finals. You're 173 miles off Greenland? Mm -hmm. Well, the finals, yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Ah, there you go. BJK. Right, it's one thousand. I've just got the new information. Oh God, that's even terrible. I'm 118 miles off Greenland. The, well, the, the airport. Do you want the bad news? Go and give it to me. There is no lights. It does have fuel there, but the length of the runway is only 109 feet. That's short. That's short. Yeah. Isn't there another airport we can go to that's bigger? 
It's the fuel issue we've got. That's the problem. I'll just tell you how much fuel I've got. Um, I'm running I'm above amber, but... I'm at 28% fuel. Exactly. So me flying around clouds is not a good idea. No. No. I could probably get there before the sun sets, just. Because this cloud is really, really high, but what's concerning me is um, going below this cloud, it's going to be like a piece of soup. I need to go and shut the bedroom window. I'll be back in a minute. It's got no air traffic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no procedures. <sighs> well, this is one of the outback ones because I'm back. It's one of the. Um, I've just gone for an update. Yeah. Um, the new update now. It is 82 feet wide. In fact, the airfield's 4,897 feet. It's a hard surface. There's no lighting. There's no air traffic control. It's oh, unicom. It's Unicom and there's no other information involved. It does have fuel at the, at the area. Right. Um, it's a hard surface as well, it's not grass. I wonder if we can get to the airport on the other side of Greenland. Take a chance. At the minute we've got the wind with us but it could end up by not having it. Yeah. Um, we'll see how much fuel I've got left when we get there and because it's an airport on the other side of Greenland that's got runway lights uh -huh. um, if I can land at an air if it's still daylight I'll land there but if it's dark when we get there I'd rather go to the other airport top of the world so it should be light a lot longer that's true Six months day, six months night, with you on the jail. Yeah. Well, at the moment, I'm still flying into the sun, and the sun's not gone down yet. So that's it'll, good. It, it actually, I believe, goes round up here. It doesn't go down, it stays above the horizon and goes round in a circle. Right, how much fuel have I got? I mean, how far have I got to go? 105 miles. So that's wow. that's like half an hour. Yeah. So I should get there before the sun goes down. I mean, runway 11 is the uh, planned uh, mm. thing against the wind. We have a 22 mile of wind pushing it along, not wind. Mm. So it is. Uh, Runway 11, uh, we are appro we'll be approaching runway 29, but we need the other one, the other end. Runway 11. Runway 11, right. <sighs> I'm just going to select an approach, uh, change that to runway 11 and activate it. Do a straight in approach. Yes, do that. And let's see what the activation does. And we'll enter that. And enter that. And that. Cool. Well, when I get to about uh, 30 miles from the airport, then I'll start coming down an altitude. I think you want to come down a lot before that. Otherwise you'll stress your aircraft. 
at, at the minute you should be round about 10,000 at least. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, you're on the final. Um, about 22,000. You're not. Feet. You're not in a jet. A jet can get down. You can't. You're in a turbo. If you if you're gonna if you're gonna come down, you've got to come down gently. Oh, no, but I'm gonna, that means I'm gonna go into clouds. I don't give a shit. You're not gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna you're gonna overshoot the runway otherwise. You gotta get it down. You gotta you gotta come down. I don't want to come down. I'm in the blue sky and I've got the clouds and happy. <laughs> That's put it way. You're gonna come down whether you like it or not. Yeah. When your fuel runs out. <laughs> and you can't reach the runway because you're too high. Well, uh, uh, alright then. If I'm. Right, how far am I from it now? Uh... You're about 120 miles. No, I'm 96 miles from the airport. Yeah, exactly. That's over. Uh, you know, 20,000 feet, that's like 10,000. You no, know, it's. 15,000 feet you've got to lose in 80 mile. Yeah, I see your point. Yeah, well I suppose I have to come down at altitude and get out of the blue sky. Yes. I, and miss, you're gonna, I miss the blue sky though, I'm going to miss it. You're going to have to uh, reduce your throttle as well because as you come down, yeah, you're going to pick up speed. 27% fuel. So pull your stick, uh, your fuel back, your, 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 your blue and your black back as you do your dive. I'm just looking. Uh, mm -hmm. I was just looking at an alternative airport. At the minute you can't afford it. No, I can't really. I'll bring nine down to about seven five. Why am I off? Don't forget to put put your FLC when you start to select your lower altitude. Uh, miles off my centre line. Mm-hmm. Crazy guys with knives. Hi! <laughs> Are you saying hi too? Crazy guys plays with knives. Yeah. I think that's his title. <laughs> I, mean, it's I can't probably see. A good... He hasn't popped up on my yeah. chat. Yeah, he's there now. Just come up and... Yeah, he's on the chat. Let me refresh my uh, YouTube. It's under that looks cloudy. Hello, and, oh, uh, hi there. Oh, hi, crazy guys with, uh, playing no. with knives. How are you doing? <coughs> Tony wants me to come down in altitude and, and I'm enjoying the nice blue sky. He's only got 90 miles to the airport and he's at 22,000 feet. <coughs> All right, then I'll start coming down. I'll just. Oh, look, now, at this, look at this lovely yeah. blue sky. You're now 80 miles off the airport. Uh, 87 actually. There you go. I've got plenty of time to come down at altitude. How about a step here a little bit longer? Nope. Alright then, I'll come down at altitude. You've got no chance. I'm coming down at 1,100 feet a second, and I'm struggling to get down to 7,000 because right. the the wind behind you is kelp in your eyes. It's hit 24 knots. Mm. Right, coming down, coming down. It's an altitude. I have to keep an eye on my airspeed because I'm there's that there's that button there you can press. Uh, VLC, my vertical climb speed. Right, I'm losing altitude. 
I don't want to come. Up. I don't want to come down on the miserable cloud. Well, you should have brought a big jet then, shouldn't you? You could have flown around the world without refueling. I just have to keep an eye on my airspeed. Yeah, if you have got that VLC tapped, you'd be all right. Down in altitude. We're coming out of these clouds very soon. I'm heading into darkness. 25 mile, I should be in the blue. It looks like we'll be landing in daylight. That's a good thing. Well, after the clouds clear, maybe dusk. Ooh, pardon me. So we might not need runway lights after all. Need to get refueled up. Hello, Jeffrey, baby. I've got twenty-five percent on one tank and. Yeah, 25% on both tanks actually. That looks good. Don't start cuddling me when I'm trying to fly a plane, Jeffrey. Go on your chair, look. Go on there. Go and cuddle it. Do your sloppy bit. Where are we? I'm 138 miles away and I'm at 7,500. I'm happy. Just coming down to 20,000 feet short. The speed down here is 27 to 28 knots. I'm just keeping an eye on my airspeed because if I don't come down too fast, I don't want to overspeed and crash because I'll be. Why I said do the FLC on the right there. What's FLC? Flight level assistance. It's it keeps you. You got your speed and you at the bottom and flight level. So I don't need that. I'm a proper pilot. I know what I'm doing. You can actually activate the speed to hold you at the speed you were at. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. You know I'm ignoring you. Yeah. Uh, my wings have dropped off. Yeah, oh. that's because you were. Doing Mac too. <laughs> I'm under nine. Uh, I'm under twenty thousand feet. Congratulations. You got sixty mile to get down now. Yeah. That's like from your place to Newcastle Airport. Shouldn't be any problem. Yeah, right. It's not a hover plane. <laughs> You're going to have to reduce your speed even more. I have. I've pulled back on the uh, blue stick. Mm, I'm doing 135 at the minute. And I should be coming out this uh, cloud. Uh, yeah, there's the blue sky there. And a couple of stars have come out. Cool. You know that bad weather I was in? Mm -hmm. It says here I'm coming out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm 18,000. Uh, about a hundred miles from the finals. Although at the minute the the wind is still behind me. Seventeen thousand nine hundred. 
7,500. I'm in amongst the red clouds at the minute. I'm in red clouds. Oh, you've got three thumbs up, so there you go. Oh, thank you, three thumbs up. It's got to be Mr. Crazy Knives there. He's put a mm. thumb up, I reckon. Thank you, Mr. Crazy Knives. Watching us crazy drone pilots flying Kodiak 100s around the world. Mm. It could be more crazier than that. Seventeen thousand three hundred. I am at uh, about a hundred miles from my. Uh, I'm sixty-four miles from the airport. Yeah. Well, you got overshoot to come back anyway, so. At the minute, we've got thirty knots pushing us along. Which means we've got to land the opposite way. Runway 11. I see what you mean. So we have to go to the left, then turn right into the wind. <clears throat> and if they've got a. See, there's no <clears throat> air traffic control, so. It, it Newcastle will be approach it so the airfield's on your left and then you bank left into the airfield. Mm. Uh, but the way this is looking at the minute, that wind keeps changing, so uh, possibly approach from the right hand side. Oh, I can see the sea. Wonderful, I can see the sea on below the, on below the cloud layer. See, you were all worried about that. Yeah. Had to be at 20,000 feet. <clears throat> no. Well, I thought I was going to die. You probably would have if you kept going at 20,000 feet. It's I'm at uh, 15,100. 7,500 and it's 7, minus 7 down here. It's minus uh, 20 up here. Mm. I have to say, when this is working properly, it's brilliant. And we've been flying for two hours. Wouldn't surprise me. Doesn't feel like that, that long though, does it? Not when you're in flight sim, no, you've got too much to think about. Yeah. Got to think and you've got to have. Keeping your plane level, looking at fuel, looking at clouds, where you're going. It says estimating uh, time for a landing is 40 minutes. Well, we don't need runway lights because I think we're going to get there in daylight. That's going to be great. Well, we're in six months of daylight, aren't we? Yeah. God, the clouds look really, really red. Look at that. Wow. The old front of my aircraft's red at the minute. Too busy looking at my instruments. Mm. Makes a change. Mm. It does actually. Let's go for an outside view for a minute. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Orange cloud. 12,900 feet.
I've just broken through the cloud properly now. And the sun's reflecting on the ocean. Wow, that is so cool. I can see an ice... Uh, is that ice over there? To my right. Well, that might be clouds. No, it looks like... Well, it could be low clouds. Yeah. Look at the sun reflecting off the sea. Wow, that looks amazing. That is wonderful. My graphics are an absolutely high thing. I've got total grey cloud. <laughs> it's not even... <laughs> Not a, not a hole in that cloud, it's perfect. Crazy guy. Uh, oh, that's an old message. It is. Yeah. <laughs> the sea looks a bit choppy. The wind is blowing uh, 11 o'clock at 28. Nuts. I am coming down to eleven thousand six. Holding at seven five. We need to come in for landing from the south. We need. I'm just seeing out to see you anywhere. We've got a. We're approaching the runway at the minute. Um, we're not even to the the north. We're looking at my map. We should be coming into the runway facing east. At the minute. The runway looks like it's the way we're bringing in mm -hmm. at the minute. But whichever way we are facing in, we want to come back out the, the runway, uh, the, the, the back at sea this direction because the wind's blowing into the island. So we want to swing around and come back out to get the maximum. So if you see my, if you see my, uh, if I zoom in, can I zoom in on my map? No, I can't. Um, you can move in on your dashboard. I can move, I can zoom in on my map. Wait a minute. Can you see my map now? Mm -hmm. According to that, it's saying I have to do you see in. that? I have to swing in from the south and come in yeah. from the north. That's it. Yeah. Well, you see how it's got a loop there? Yeah. That's how you got to approach it. Right. Okie dokie. The hook landing. I'm still quite a fair way away from uh, I'm a hundred and two. Uh, just coming to the edge of the clouds at the minute. But the radar says I'm not in cloud. I've got news for radar. I am. Right, I'm at uh, 10,500 feet. Coming down nicely. I gather when you set a flight plan, and that flight plan takes you to that airport, that flight plan plan must consider the the, the uh, wind direction. Yes. <coughs> right. Uh, 
I don't feel tired at all, you know. No, I don't know either. We could land here and take off to the other side of the island. <laughs> yeah. We'll see how things go and how the light gets. I think we're really lucky it's still daylight. Like you said, the further north you go, the lighter it gets. Six miles to go because aircraft is just doing a, a turn around because I've, I've changed the um, landing instructions. Coming into um, the airport air traffic control airspace. Only 118 is running today. Yeah, I could do with uh, getting my air traffic working. I got a reply. It's actually people at the airport. Kodiak, well, November two eight nine I've got response from air traffic control. The when I talk talk to them, I've got to do my score code. Cool. Do. Yeah. What do you have to do to get that? You've got to go into your left hand uh, screen oh, and then you press XPRO okay. and then you do. Yes, I hold you. I'm trying to tap it in. Sounds too complicated for me. You wanted air traffic, that's what you do. So I've they can got, see you. I've got air traffic control. All I have to do is press the thing up there and it gives me the stuff. And he says. He's just uh, told me he's got me on radar. Because I've done my squawk code. Uh, well, we're not far off from the airport, so uh, we're coming down slowly. Is that Darwin? Nice, keep it up. Yeah, right, we're trying. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Your fit comments. Uh, I Darwin. See, I can't see any comments. Darwin's on the think that Darwin. Well I'll have to refresh the page. Rubbish. Nice, keep it up. Oh, thanks very, very much, Darwin. We will. Coming into a landing shortly. It's going to be a bit dodgy because. Uh, running out of fuel. Running out of fuel. How much fuel have I got left? 
Mine's holding at 25 at the minute. Uh, no, 8. How about 23% fuel? I don't like this low cloud. That's bothering me a bit. 24% fuel me. I'm hoping when we get to the airport, it's clear. What we are on here, we're at 40. I'm at 18 miles from the airport. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm 83. Well, that's what it says, 18 miles. You're doing all right then. Doing all right. As long as I can see it. I'm still, I say, 82 miles in a minute. Oh, God, I, st I need to start to concentrate now. Oh. Right, need to concentrate. I'm not far off it. What's my uh, altitude? 8,600? Jesus, it's too high. Speaks the man who didn't want to come down from 24,000. Yeah. Now I have to Did keep it. I need to keep an eye on my, um, I'll have to read my instruments, I don't want to go over speed. I did tell you, didn't I? Yes, you did, yes you did. Yes. I'm I go put my, about I, the blue. I'm putting <laughs> my flaps down one to slow myself down a bit. Mm. I don't want to over speed, because if I start over speeding I'm going to crash. Thirteen miles from the airport. Seventy-seven. I'm going offline here. Oh, I can see. Oh, there's bloody white mountains. Where the hell's the airport then? I'm looking right up. Can you see that in front of me? Have a look at this. See? It's just uh, white and mountains. There's supposed to be an airport here somewhere. Definitely oh. would, huh? I wonder if it's down that valley down there. Probably. No, no it's not. Over there, somewhere over there. Oh, shit. Four thousand nine hundred. Right, I think I could probably ease off a bit. I need to find the airport. Pretty dark where right? I am. Uh, right, according to that, I've got an island there. The airport should be. Right, I need to. Um, I need to concentrate what I'm doing. Oh, I right, the airport's to my left. 
It's on an island. Hmm. So the airport's on to my left. But it's saying I have to swing around to come into land. Hmm. Oh, God, this is a bit complicated. What if I can go over the top of that bridge? Uh, I might do a flyby just to check it out. It's nice to see some land. The entire kill. Suppose he eyes at me. See? I will. I will. Let me play and then you can watch TV. <laughs> Oops. Go, go sit on my seat. Watch them hills. Yeah, I'm watching them. There's a mountain range there, so I need to bank to the... I need to go around this corner to the left, according to the flight plan. Excuse me. Thank you. Air travel just says your barometer's changed, so you'll press B. A flashing light on the ground over there, I don't know what that is. Mm. What the hell's that flashing light on the ground? Probably the airport. Oh, I can see the runway. So I need to. Um, oh, I've got turbulence. Mm. Well, that's good, isn't it? I get turbulent since I get to the bloody airport. Right. Oh, it is lit up. It has got runway lights. Look. Mm -hmm. runway lights. Can... Oh, aren't you happy? Yeah, very happy. Fairly long as well. Mm. Watch your altitude. I don't know, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. I don't want to start looking at my instruments. I'm trying to bring it down into the wind. Right, I'm at uh, 1700. Good. Right, I'm bringing it around now. Nice glimpse of the sun. Look at that mm. view. Wow. Look at that. That is amazing. God. Keep your eyes on the traffic. Yeah, I'm looking at the... I'm, I'm just looking at the view. Yeah. Is he smack into the tower? Mm. Right, need to put my flaps down. Two. Not on full flaps yet. Here's me worrying about landing here in the dark. Mm. I have got some street lights. People live here. Coming around to the airport. There's a runway in front of me. And we've got runway lights. Runway lights! Thank you, runway lights. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
is to pay the electricity bill. Yeah. It's all flaps. Mm -hmm. Five hundred. It's all flaps coming in. I think I'm a bit there with you. Maybe not. Don't want to stall. Might just put a little bit of power on. Mm. Blue one forward. Now I'm at 53 miles out. I'm just skimming them trees there, eh? or wherever it is. My cat's just switched off all the electronics and we get aircraft. <laughs> Back it in. Chill. Trying to kill me. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm surprised how well I landed. Well, I've just lost all communication at the minute. My cat kicked, kicked one of the buttons and uh, everything's cancelled on me. Yes, the windsock is blowing. I'll stop here and you can see the windsock. At the minute I've lost everything at the minute. Right, where's the uh, airport building around here? Must be an airport building somewhere, eh? Oh, they're behind me. I have to turn around. Jesus Christ, what have you done to me, chill? Cats <sighs> are trying to kill you. I've got no information now where the airport is. Because bugger looks and knocked the... Uh, It's a long runway, so you've got no problems landing there. Uh, at this point in time, I'm in the darkness, and uh, me, because he switched off all my instruments, I have now got a problem. Because you've got to be on the ground to calibrate your instruments. Well, that's not good. And he's, it's saying to me, uh, keep your wings level so we can calibrate the computers. And I ain't. I can't even find. Come on, stop, stop, stop. I'm going down and I can't. Uh, Right. I've got to do some calibration in the air and I yeah. can't do it. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Well, I hate this cat. Why you did that to me? Oh, cats are a nuisance sometimes. Most of the time. <laughs> At this point in time, I am trying to get the aircraft level. Uh, so I can uh. 
Oh, some fresh no. air. Some fresh air. Oh, God, it's cold. Right, I've activated them, thank God. Right. It's cold out here. Jeez, I'm going to shut that door. Too cold. I'm going to shut it. Well, as you're down on the deck, you can actually terminate your live stream. Yeah, I can, but I'm 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 considering. <laughs> Consider it's it's twenty two twenty past ten. Yeah, I think it's a good idea actually. But I'll still wait. I'll can terminate the stream and still watch you come into land. That's if we're lucky. Yeah. So I'm going to stop the stream and watch Tony come to land. So I'll be sitting here for how long is it going to take you to get here? I don't know. It's 49, 47 miles. Oh, it's not that long. Oh, we could, oh, we could keep the stream on and watch you come into land. I've got no guarantees I'm going to land. Uh, well, you've, got, the... you've got airport lights. You've got no problem, man. The air, the aircraft is actually um, malfunctioning because the cat hit the button. Right. Well, since Tony doesn't want us to see him land because the cat caused problems with him, we'll end the stream. It means I have to come out of the Oh, that means I have to come out to turn the stream off. No, you don't. You press alternate enter to shrink it down and then turn the stream off that way. Oh, right. Alternative enter. That shrinks that down. Or you can press alternate F9, I think. Stops it. Um, alternative F9. I think it is. Or is Both it at the same time. Yeah, control after me. No, that no. worked. What about control F9? Oh, wait a minute, I can do it this way. Oh no, it's gone again. Control and tab. Hit and tab. Oh, it keeps flashing on and off. No, can't do it that way. It tells you quickly on there. Alter I I'm sure it's alternate F. A L T F nine. Wait on, I'm just going to. You carry on with your flying. It's all right. I can deal with this. Um, I'll deal with this. Don't worry. You just carry on with your flying and concentrate I'm on. Try alternative F eight. Alternative F 